I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way... Okay, to I don't get it. Also, hey, there's the uh, the weird uh, angry face look that you were talking yes. about. Yes. The grooves in the face where it just looks like he's suddenly old or something. Very odd. More dimples! More dimples! Looks like he's being hit by his own force lightning. When Shepard does it, it's like the worst. It's like she turns into an old lady. Lack of vision. Mm -hmm. she, she, she turns from regular Shepard into Casey Green drawing a grumpy face Shepard. Oh my god, yeah. Actually, in relation to our previous episode, that's a good point. The fact that both, uh, you can, you can play the game completely and differently as both a male and female is pretty fantastic, really. I agree. I totally agree, and I probably wouldn't like this series as much as I do if I couldn't play as a chick. Of evolution. So once again, even though you had you had no choice working with the elusive man, and now you have no choice working against him. Not that I would generally advocate working for the elusive man under any circumstances, but that would have been cool. But he's if been the game didn't rub your nose, the game didn't rub your nose in the fact that you made a stupid decision that was obviously stupid from the beginning of the last game. And was so poorly justified, and now it continues to taunt you about it. And your teammates taunt you about it, and it is so aggravating. This game spec ops the crap out of you. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. Seamus can't come up with a response to that. <laughs> I was just imagining, what if there was a, what if in Spec Ops everybody kept bringing up the White Phosphorus incident, and then they made a sequel where everybody kept bringing up the White Phosphorus incident the whole time, and in fact the whole game hinged on the White Phosphorus incident? How annoying that would be! You realize this means about as much to us and a lot of the viewers as the Noodle incident, Seamus? I'm, I'm making yeah. a video on it, it'll be cool. Relax. Okay. Oh, okay, Caden. Okay, get close to her. Clo yeah, good. You've got a gun, but you're gonna walk up to her for no reason. You deserve what you just got. My squad must never know that I can't All actually. Alright, check this shit. bullshit out. Now, this is probably one of the most frustrating parts of the game for me. I hated this. You're supposed to run her down. Oh, quick, chase her! Oh, As a vanguard, you slam into the back of her, and she nope. doesn't even Not, slow don't down. Don't mess around with the fucking cover. No, ah, uh, sh... Her health regenerates, too. Like, I got her a couple times with my fire blast, and uh, then her shield went back up, and I was like... Hello! Yeah, I was drilling her. She has a minimum health. You cannot take her below it. On this ladder, I slammed into her. and drill her. I... I caught up to her on that ladder, climbed the ladder behind her, it made me stop because I caught up to her. And my head, yep. the top of my head, was hitting her in the butt. And it was like, no, you're not allowed to catch her. <laughs> headbutt. He head, headbutt. <laughs> this is how stupid <laughs> this shit is! Wait, do we ever see this? another... James, do we ever see another stride. robot like this again? Nope. Just like... It exists so that we can put our computer in a robot with boobs. Yes. Oh, this is just spoiling everything. Oh yeah, we are going to spoil this. Seal boob tech. We are going to spoil this game. I mean, I fully expect us to talk about the ending before we well, get to obviously. the ending, because the ending's like an hour and a half conversation. We need to space that out. Oh, really? This is. You know, I, I haven't played the game. I, I actually don't really know anything about the. En yeah, no, I know about the ending. Oh man! Oh, I can't charge into a fucking helicopter shuttle. I hope oh, one of our you? teammates does something really suicidal. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Awesome. Like the idea was to recover the data, not blow it up. Now no one has it. I thought it was funny. What a tool. Why is our show oh, but okay? At least, yeah, I know, but at least she's dead now. You know actually, Rex would've done the same anymore. goddamn thing. I would've approved if Rex did it. It's true. If Rex is a what he does. What's, what's, he, what's Vega's excuse for acting like a Krogan? I'm gonna go with steroid abuse. Built built like one. Alright. Steroid abuse. You didn't even land it right! Look at that shit! 
Hey Jim, I lost my cat. Can I staple a flyer to your neck? <laughs> but does Ashley do the same thing as uh, Kaden here? Yeah. Yes. So, really, in terms of writing, we just flipped the two. We didn't do it. Yeah, anything. well, that's how Not it's always Not necessarily. I, I, oh! The character, the character stuff for Ashley is different. Orders. Dispose of him. Yeah, that's right. Threaten her. Th threaten the indestructible thing. The really irritating part of... Yep. Yeah. You're, oh you're, yeah, you can't use your shooter, shooter, shoot her, shoot her, shoot her, Shepard, shoot her. You can't use your, you can't use your powers. You can't use yeah. your proper weapon. Instead, you have to kill her with the pistol. Your, your gameplay is totally messing up the, the. <laughs> your insistence on playing a game is totally messing up the plot of this movie. Player, knock it off. You are killing somebody with a pistol now. You have no power. Why End of story. Why didn't we shoot her way before she murdered that guy? I know, I know. That was Caden, by the way, that just got slammed. Uh, why didn't we shoot her? Why didn't we take action? Why did we stand there like an idiot drooling inside our helmet while she beat up Caden? Because, because script. Well, we, we needed to get rid of this random character for a little while because we didn't want to script them because it could be two people. That's part of the pro honestly. That's probably part of it. Oh, is yeah, that yeah. it could be two people. Like we couldn't really afford to script solutions for having Ashley with you for the majority of the game and Caden with you for the majority of the game because that's two voice actors that we would have to pay to do a bunch of lines. Whereas if they get beaten <laughs> the crap up, they're in a hospital. I on don't the understand why the Bioware. I don't understand why Bioware is so cheap. Because they they have enough money to not be cheap. They spent it all on the older public. Fancy how that oh, yeah. game turned out. Yeah. So I mean, you're complaining about this now, but think about that. We got a really great MMO for that. But yeah, really. One that's totally going to revive subscription game. Yeah. It's going to defeat World of Warcraft and everything. Just you wait. It'll never go play. Never. It's already going. This fall, it's already been announced. I know, I'm just... I'm being yeah, oh. we were oh, all going I in see. the you one direction, and you weren't there, Seamus. It's okay. And, which it's, was weird, because you were doing it earlier. It's going free-to-play like such industry luminaries as all points bulletin in Age of Conan. I was there. And Heroes of Akira Academy, play me now. Fun fact! Bioware absorbed EA Mythic. All the people who were left from working on Warhammer Online, EA's last spectacular failure in the MMO market. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? If we just throw enough money into this wood chipper, it sooner or later it's gonna th just it's gonna crap out a solid gold MMO. I know it. I can feel it. Bring in another pallet of money. It should be noted that Bioware is at this point more of a brand than an actual company. It's very true. Uh, there's like probably so as many Biowares as there are uh, rock stars. Right, when we say Bioware, we think that, that little team that made KOTOR, but of course, those few people, some of them are gone, and the rest of them are are mixed in with these hundreds of new people that have been hired since the acquisition. And if they don't... Okay, hack it. Hack it. Let, let me... Hack it. Let me get this straight. Our grand plan here... Now that Earth has been taken, and all we've got left humanity-wise is the human colonies, and every day millions of humans die, and the Reapers are everywhere, we're going to take the time to build the Prothean Death Star! Yes! Oh my goodness! What?! We're gonna build this thing. It's a pretty obvious, like, plot thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a plot Death Star for plotting devices. <laughs> like, that's it. That's all it's there for. It fires. It fires. It's a MacGuffin, yeah. It's a gigantic fucking space MacGuffin of doom. Yes. I actually don't mind the building of the, of the, uh, of the Citadel, or it's, or not the Citadel, the, uh, MacGuffin itself. Really, crucible. Really, really what I don't like is the fact that Earth is being attacked. And we got some other colonies at different planets that we're not going to name, and different star systems we're not going to name, and, like, Commander. you don't get a sense of how 
screwed the human race is. You get a sense that Earth is being decimated, but in the context of an interplanetary human race, what does Earth mean? Like, is this just like our cultural centerpiece? Is it our history? What is being lost in the destruction of Earth? I was just about to say, is this our New York, where it's, you know, maybe 5% of our population, or 1% of our population, but it's the most visible part? We've never been to Earth in a Mass Effect game that I know of, like, and so to suddenly have Earth be the center point, it's confusing because you've never had Earth be a center point for fucking anything you've done in a Mass Effect game. And yet it's the linchpin of the entire game. What is game. up with is, the is, nebula right. changing color every time we're here? You're feeling purple today, Josh! Space magic! Space purple! Don't quote that out of context, please. Do go- Don't do that Chris, what are you Jesus, going I for? <laughs> I was going for happy, and it, it failed. It, don't That's your me. happy? I'm never going to make you happy. Well, I don't even know. <laughs> Too late. Okay. <laughs> Business as usual. Barely got a pulse here. Stop giving the shippers more ammunition. Uh, Where are you taking him? Where to memorial? At some point, you just got to accept it. Just got to roll over. We're not going with uh, we need to see the council. My chihuahua is yapping, and I just almost said Rutzkar and shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Shepard's ammo. I might be coming to see you, Commander Shepard. God word. Hey, it's arriving. Bailey. When did you get <laughs> oh, twenty years monkey younger? Oh, Shepard is sad. Yeah, Let's so uh, racist. Though it's Commander. Bailey, see, you should have put him on the council at the end of Mass Effect One instead of Anderson. Seriously, now have my job. Bailey is a is a voice actor, I think, in the Fallout series. I was playing a he's, game recently. He's, he's, he's yeah, Doc yeah. Mitchell. Yeah. He's Doc so Mitchell. That's what yeah, he it's is. Saul Ty from Battlestar Galactica. I'm here to tell you the council. He's Ron Wait, who's Saul Ty? Super excited. Dealing with their own problems with the He's war. the guy who loses his eye. And spends half the I show with an iPad. No, that I, that doesn't tell me anything. I've never seen the show. I just played the board game. You fucking suck! Right, you dork. played the board game, but not the. Sh- I just I don't even know now, what board game to do with you. Good. Of course. What is that? What is that like? Like, like the mafia game? You figure out who's a Cylon, and then you lynch him. Wow, that dude has like as big a boobs as the Asari. That was crazy. Did you see that? I know. Got All I know is I spent uh, the whole board game like my power. I was I became the president after the last president got thrown in jail. So I spent most of the game giving inspirational speeches that always failed. So I would always give like a fake inspirational speech, like, "Wow, so did you hear another guy turned out to be a Cylon? Man, it could be anybody." Well, good night, folks. <laughs> yeah, okay, that that's kind of Battlestar Galactica. It could be you. It could be me. It could even be. <laughs> <laughs> so we're running a little bit low on food, but I got some good news for you guys. I found a cheeseburger. Oh, fuck, it's so good. Oh. So the redid uh, Normandy, why did it get redid? Because the Alliance uh, repossessed it, basically. <laughs> they repossessed it because it belonged to Cerberus, and they... You lost the first Commander. one, so they rebuild. Counselor so they rebuild it instead of building another one. It's they can wait. They can build the uh, crucible in the space of one game, but they can't like just build another Normandy just as good as the first one in all this time. Well, I mean, it, it doesn't it get basically destroyed in the end of the first game or something. How do you know this is the at the, be- at the beginning of Mass Effect 2 it gets blown up, but why didn't they build another one while hey we God! were gallivanting? Yo, what's up? How's that Reaper thing happening? And, you know, that thing I was telling you about from the first game! I'm gonna warn you guys, if these guys refuse to believe that it's the Reapers, I'm going to do something terrible. Oh my. No, they just don't want to help her. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that oh, the last well, that's time fair. we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. Also, why are these Counselors True. all the normal, not humans? We, we killed the human- uh, we killed the Council replaced it with a human Council. Well, what if that's not enough this time? 
We're I always took that to mean that when we replaced it with a council humans. that was selected by humans. I don't expect so we'd have a human and then we'd kind of hand pick the other guys because we have so much pull. And I don't know, the game was never really clear on that. Again, the anthropocentrism is just awful. We're still piecing it together. And and clearly, of course, they're not going to help us, despite the fact that we picked the fuck. So it would seem. <laughs> okay, that actually kind of makes sense if we just selected puppets, because you know, if people in control they do the mention that lose their main well, power base, then there, the puppets there don't are necessarily have to follow the, us anymore. There are there are dialogue things that are like, well, you did get rid of that one fucking stupid ass, and now I'm in charge, so that's cool. But the council is interchangeable in this game. It doesn't matter if you save them or not, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I believe you can only have this council. If you save them, you get Udina and these three idiots. If you let them die, you get Udina and these three idiots. No, the, if you put Anderson on the council, you get... Uh, Udina and these three idiots. These three idiots if yeah. if the council is saved, then you get the, the idiots from the first. Earth, the right, yeah, but, but I mean, I'll, I think they have the same is, voice acting. What it's I'm saying same. is, like, gameplay-wise, it's exactly the fucking same. They do the same thing. And I'm sure, and I'm sure it's all the same dialogue. Uh, it's definitely not the same voice actors because the Solarian is female. Really? The is nah, really yeah. Oh. Sounding. That I cannot keep. Who cares, though? Oh yeah, hey, Solarian female doesn't female. look any different from a Solarian male, but at least they're trying. Where, where are my Turian females? Where are my Turian females? Can you imagine what, how frustrated these Turians must be since they've got no women? Look, we tried to get Turian females, and we, the artists came to us and were like, where did the boobs go? And we were like, we don't know, so we just, like, stopped. That's that's where we stopped, because that's the only God difference. Damn. We tried, like, 40 different places to put vacuum-sealed ditties, and it just wasn't happening. Is Garrus a girl the whole time? We tried to draw Garrus with booby eyes, and it just didn't work. <laughs> Fan artists, you know what to do. Trouble is, you didn't get out of Palop and Sister. Actually, that would be a time. really, really, really you know, funny you know, twist if Garrus was a female the whole time. No, 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 because, no, like, he All said he's in, like, being the reach of yeah, the Mass Effect like, 2. They referred to yeah. females, yeah. Make a deal? There are and apparently they said in the military alongside the men, so why haven't we seen <laughs> one? I feel like I'm in a rap song about females, Turian females. I came here for two reasons, Turian females and the drag. Wait, 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 so like, if you're attracted to Turians, does that make you a Turi? Oh. Leave them to Rudskarn, please. This has been a no, night no, where no. I get nothing I like but dressed it. down about this stuff. I like this beat. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> Oh god. There is one other thing. Shut up, Udina. Was agreed to <laughs> okay, <laughs> so what, again? What is it? Every single game we get turned into a specter! Good luck. Stop We're specter in this game! <laughs> More like Regina Specter! To start, I'll talk to the others in the oh my fucking yeah, god, you definitely do it one more time! Until just now. Do it one more time! Do it. I'll hurt you. Re I'll no spec. That I'm burning down your delta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she knows right <laughs> where to hit you. You wouldn't dare. Oh, would I? He would, st he would starve to death. Where else would I acquire authentic self of the board delights? <laughs> I hope authentic. you starve to death, you fuck. You're talking about south of the Canadian border, right? Y yes, Josh, I'm talking about south of the Canadian border. Just barely south of the Canadian Actually, border. Actually, I'm talking, Canadians I'm talking south of the abandoned borders. At, I'm talking south of the abandoned borders that the hobos are living in now. So, the nurse tells me you've refused to bathe. South of the borders bookstore, which is where it's located. <laughs> south of the out of business <laughs> oh, bookstore. Sure. That's, 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 that's what I was sure. saying. That's what, that's what I was saying. Abandoned borders, because they're all abandoned now. Wait, wait, oh, go back and get, get Hey, look, it's Mon Mothma. Dr. Tell Chakwa to fuck off and get the I'm other chick. You know, did they just wait? Chakwa right next to an identical 
twin I of her, but with different color her. hair. You should have let those do that. That's the game from the first game. That you saved with Garrus. Yeah. Wait, okay, tell her to fuck off. She didn't recognize me in my game for some reason. Well. Tell Chocolate to fuck off. And then go guys. get the French lady. As well as we don't need Chocolate. doctors. Guys, look at Chakwa. Now look at Femship. Now look at Chakwa. Now look at Femship. I'm about to blow your mind. Chakwa <laughs> is Femship's mother. There, I said. Not a researcher. Eden Prime, the Battle of the Citadel, defeating the Collectors. Unsee it. I dare you. I dare you to unsee it. Let me serve on the Normandy. Yeah, the last time you were on the Normandy, you were the only person of the crew that wasn't us that didn't die. Why do you want to you know be on my ship? Because she's your mother, off. Josh. She's following you around and watching after you. Right I don't need my Tell mom on my off. ship. Be careful. <laughs> you clearly do, though. Goodbye, Doctor. Yeah. Then oh, go get Frenchy. Go, go oh get God, the we're French floating. Lady. Look at that, we're floating in the air, like two feet off the ground. <laughs> Is that because of the increased FOV? Or two inches, whatever. No, no, I've got the FOV. Oh reset. my God, she joke his mom too. Okay, that's it. That's the week. Okay. Oh, it is? Okay, oh, Josh. Shit. Um, uh, no, I bet keep you going, because I just started a conversation. Oh, damn it, Josh. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. <laughs> just what say happens yes if really I fast. say no? Dr. Chloe Michel, she's the most French woman I've ever heard in my life. The drama was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness... Yeah, we need Lilian on our team, let's go. So I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just under order. Le hey, you know, you're a doctor, and we just blew off you the other doctor. The my lips are so I'm shiny. You'd consider me, I am French. <laughs> I can see my face. The Normandy is critical to defeat my the own Reapers. reflection. The whole in I gotta go listen to Fudu Fafa. You'd make a huge difference out there. Baguette! More than you can Baguette! You know, <laughs> well. I, I think is I was so trying weird. to make Shepard's face <laughs> less derpy <laughs> looking. But then Seamus was yelling at me, and I, I honestly am not, I don't think I succeeded. <laughs> you didn't. I'm pretty sure I did It's not as bad as it was, but... This game probably makes as messy a statement about gender as Grand Theft Auto 4 does about gay people. Yeah, okay, and there we go. that's all, folks!